And since the very first day that I got the car, I've always wanted to try to at least slide the car a little bit. What's up guys? So it is me, Victor, once again. So as usual, before I start today's video, do remember to follow me on my Instagram account. And also do follow my Apparel's company's Instagram account, which is Untitled Apparel. Alright guys. I've got the GT86 for roughly a month now and since the very first day that I got the car I've always wanted to try to at least slide the car a little bit because you know it's an FR car and I just cannot resist to slide the car but since we have this movement control order in place for so long I can't travel to my usual spot to try out the car so I've been keeping that urge inside of me for roughly a month and finally I cannot take it anymore and just happened that one of my neighbor's house actually had quite a spacious front porch it just happens to be empty and I just cannot resist myself anymore so I actually went there and try and slide the car so yeah here are the initial footage of me trying to slide the GT86 alright guys so now let's give it a try and see if the automatic GT86 would actually go into a slide so first thing is I would want to disable the traction control like totally off so yeah now it's like totally off so drift mode right I want it to be in sport as well and this is like that okay so let's see if it does anything I'm kind of nervous eh? because as you guys know I've been drifting cars on and off for some time now but I've never actually drifted an automatic transmission car before well I got a MyB which is an automatic but I've never actually but that's not considered drift right yeah definitely not so that so let's try and see if the car will actually slide that'll be a good reference point right okay turn in turn in floor throttle The Auto GT86 actually slide. How cool is that? All right. So I finally done the first slide on my GT86. Well, I cannot blame the person in charge from chasing me out, but at least, at least the person in charge was kind enough or nice enough to tell me to live nicely without giving me any attitude at all. So for that, I appreciate that fellow a lot. At least he came to talk to me nicely and tell me that it's better for me to leave. And he said that if I don't leave, he might get into trouble with his boss. So in conjunction with that, of course, I respect him as well, so I left the place and I did exchange WeChat with him as well. Just in case the boss wants to give him some trouble, I could tell him that he can always ask his boss to contact me, it's fine. No, I have no issues with that. So my very first impression of sliding the GT86, well, it's a stock automatic car, so I have no complaint whatsoever. Power-wise, definitely it's not as powerful as the Silvia or my previous i7 and 34 and so on, but then again, it does bring me back to like my AE70 or my pre previous KE70 days where you know it's not a powerful engine but 
you just gotta have the fun like giving the car like full throttle most of the time without worrying about the engine giving any issues but then again this is just like first gear donut and figure eights so it's not supposed to give any issues so far i can't really go very in depth like what changes is needed to be done to let the car slide more to my liking because it's just very basic stuff if someone could really tell you that like just by doing donuts and figure eight improve the kindling by just doing this and that if that is the case it's either number one that fellow is extremely good with car setup that by just doing first gear donut and figure eights, he knows what is needed to be done or secondly your car is set up that bad that to a point that further proper setup will actually make the car easier to drive or at least easier to do donuts and figure eight so there is a two only two options i can think of that by just doing donuts and figure eight you need to change a car setup as most of my video goes you know that i'm still waiting for the movement control order to end so that i can go to my usual spot and hopefully try out some automatic second gear drifting which should be very fun because i've never done that before and maybe i get to tandem with some friends maybe i don't know we'll see how it goes because seriously automatic i have no experience at all but as i say i will still keep the car automatic for now just so that i can try out more automatic gearbox before i do a manual swap so that i can give you guys like more personal in-depth experience about playing an auto gt 6 and a manual gt 6 and the pros and cons about it so all right guys so this is it for this very short trying to slide the gt 6 episode so hopefully you guys do like this episode and do remember to like this video share this video out and subscribe to my youtube channel all right guys okay i'll see you guys next time